What's up guys? Welcome back to Doors. The reason why I'm back is because we missed an entity uh, and you guys actually told me about it. Um, I asked if there was any new entities in the regular game because as you guys know, there is now a new mode called the back room. No, not the back rooms. <laughs> the, the back door. It's a back door, not a back room. That's a totally different thing. Oh, do you actually get a badge for completing the back room of door? See, it did it again, dang it. Oh, you do. I mean, sure, it's, it's cool, but it's really not that impressive. I'm still keeping my A1000. I'll probably never change it because that was just pure suffering. Have they updated anything else? Anything like this? Do they still play? Oh, they still play FNAF music here. Yeah. So apparently this new entity that I did not see is definitely not this one. He's, he's not new. Although you don't really see him other than right here. Apparently it has something to do with the clock. You know, I did see a clock last time we played, but I didn't quite understand. Like I, dude, I didn't remember if that was like really like new or not. Oh, cool. They actually updated so we can like go alone. Great. That's what I want to do. I want to be alone. What I want to know is that they're always going to keep this here or is it just going to be for the hunt thing? Because this is such a cool mode. I really don't want them to take it away. I realized I think the last episode, I don't think I got a really good look at the haste. Uh, is it the haste entity? The one that uh, when you run out of like time, pretty much. We saw the other entities pretty, pretty much. So if you missed that, you should definitely check it out because that's all my reactions to the whole thing. But man, I just absolutely love this new music, like, and stuff. Like, the the way that the... Oh, already? I just started. Something comes out. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and see what happens. I'm gonna die on the first floor. We just have to wait a minute and 30 seconds. I never really got to see the entity. I got jump scared by it, but I think I totally missed it. Because when you run out of time, I think this, like, skull thing comes out of nowhere. But, you know, because like, I've seen a lot of people's thumbnails, and I was like, I don't think I've seen that. So, we need to definitely check it out. Oh, I didn't even loot this stuff either. Surprised they didn't add Timothy to this mode. Uh, I did read that uh, Glitch is also in this mode as well, but we all know the Glitch is extremely rare, right? Uh, I've only seen him probably once or twice, maybe? Glitch is extremely rare now that I think about it. But apparently he can also be in this mode, so why is Glitch in the back door? I almost said back rooms again. I don't know. Nobody knows. So he's supposed to come from a random direction. Let's see if I can actually see him. I'm not sure if he's just gonna come through the, 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 the wall or what? Is he just gonna spawn here? I don't think we can hide from him in the closet, right? Okay, here we go. It's like, really? You, you died on the first floor? Are you really that bad? Okay. Okay. Oh, is that it? Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is! Oh, yeah, I did not see that! Oh my god! Okay, so I seen I seen it up close like that, but I did not see it like that. What got you this time? <laughs> you know what got me. You ran out of time and died to haste. Okay, I was right. The the name is definitely haste. I've given you a method to add more time to the clock though. You're welcome. Maybe try a little harder next time. You'll be back soon. See you then. Also, another thing I wonder, because some of them they they mentioned that it says she called like uh, she called it a name, is what they said, to one of the entities, right? She called it, um, I don't remember which entity it said it on, but it said she. Who the heck is she? Okay, Ball, I need answers. The only person that we know in this game is El Goblino. I think this might be the first lore thing that maybe we've ever gotten, at least that I know of. Who the heck is she? Is figure is she? These are the questions, man. It's just, uh, but yeah, I mean, I definitely, like, didn't talk about that. I didn't really notice that when I was recording this last episode, so I thought... This would be a good time to talk about it. Also, I definitely want to see that other entity that I totally missed. No. No. Oh my god. It kills you like instantly. It doesn't even give you a chance to freaking hide if it's in the same room. Oh, gotcha. Oh, wow. Blitz again. <laughs> the game always shames you. It attacks anyone it can find, which you should really know by now. Maybe try a little harder next time. See you soon. See you then. Yeah, this, this mode really isn't that hard, but I do really enjoy it. I wish they would update it more. Yeah, so it actually, so yeah, here's where I read it on, on the wiki right here. It says, Glitch is a pivotal and mysterious entity indoors. Residing in the hotel, the rooms, and the back door, it acts as a failsafe for players when a room fails to generate correctly. So does that, does like the game actually glitch out? And actually that's what causes glitch to happen. So that's why it doesn't come out very much. That's very interesting, actually. Oh, so it says right here, guaranteed rooms, door negative 51, storage, wait, 
In the beginning? In the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah. Oh, so apparently Blitz only turns uh, red when he's in the closet. When you're in the closet? Is that true? I don't know if that's true or not. Oh, God. That's actually really creepy right here. <laughs> <laughs> it is so creepy. I actually want to test it out. If you stare at the look man through the closet, will he still do damage to you? We're doing the doors mythbusters. I'm sorry, the back doors mythbusters. Imagine if I actually seen glitch, like I would get freaking so lucky. I hate. I know the skills. I have the skills. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Oh no, he just he just randomly changes green and freaking red. I don't think it matters what room you're in. I'm not going to fall into the vacuum again. No, not not me. No siree. Oh, oh, <laughs> there he is. He's clearly right here, but I... So, okay, so he doesn't damage you unless you look at his eyes. I think this confirms it, considering I can't even see his eyes. I can't see his pretty, pretty eyes. He's like, help, I'm stuck. How did this happen? I guess, I mean, you could argue that that was a glitch. So when you open the next door, he actually does go away, and he despawns. So... You know, again, just in case you didn't know, oh my god! Oh, he glows! I didn't even know that! You're so pretty, dude! Okay, so when he teleports, he does this glowing thing. Okay, where's the- where's the freaking closet? Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, we actually saw him de Did you despawn or not? Okay, wow. Oh, so you can stare straight at him, but you just can't look away and stare back at him again. This is a good look at him right here. Okay, he oh, apparently he doesn't just despawn. He just follows you through the door. Also, I'm about to run out of time. This dude followed me the entire time. I, okay, he does not despawn. That is a load of boo boo. The look, man. It's very similar to another today you've definitely encountered. Yeah, eyes. We know. You should have enough experience to deal with it. Maybe try a little harder next time. Oh, that that makes me so angry to hear that, man. So another thing that happens, according to the wiki, is that like when you die, the guiding light will appear. And it's supposed to appear only in the first time that you actually die. So the guiding light is technically an entity as well, even though it doesn't do anything. I don't see any glitch. It's definitely not spawned yet. But, it, I mean, they said they said it could spawn in this room. I just don't know how. Ooh, can you- Oh, hey! Can I ignore him if- Will he follow me in here? <laughs> Okay, you know what? I think if he sees you at all in the same room, he actually kills you. He doesn't even get close to you. So that's different. Okay, I didn't actually realize that beforehand. Wow. Blitz, yet again. It attacks anyone it can find, which you should really know by now. Okay, shut your mouth. Let's read the comment that you guys left about the new entity that I, apparently I missed. B2 Mike, there's a secret entity called Dread, which you can find in the hotel at door zero. There's a clock on one of the walls. So, okay, I remember the clock from la last episode, and I was like, wait a minute. I didn't know for sure. Like, I just, I guess I didn't really, like, pay attention to it. But apparently that clock has something to do with this entity. There's a clock on the wall, and wait until the clock strikes 12, which takes an hour. I have to sit here for a whole hour? Can I just like speed up the time somehow? <laughs> I recommend getting an auto clicker due to the game kicking you after 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. I've had to do that before. Luckily, I do have an auto clicker, so. After size 12, make your way to door 13 and something will happen. Okay. Oh, I'm also kind of curious as well. Can we get like the crucifix and bring it to the back doors? Has anyone tried this? I want to try it, but I don't know if I'm going to get that far, though. Do, 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 do. Okay, so is this the clock? Does it matter which clock we wait? Crap, I need to read the comment again. Oh, okay, no, it's at door zero. I swear the clock did uh, appear, though, even after this. So, okay, this is door zero. No, there's probably no way to actually make this faster, is it? I'm going to, I kind of want to try changing my system time to see if it makes it any faster because I really don't want to wait that long. But it just makes me wonder who finds this stuff? Who sits here for an hour? Did they just leave their, did they just leave their like game on? But then they would have to have a clicker. So you would have to know that this entity exists. Maybe they just thought, oh, because the, you know, the clock didn't exist before. I didn't really understand. I thought the clock had been there, but I guess I was wrong. I don't know. This painting is titled Monkey. I don't know what the reference is there. Okay, I'm going to try changing the time and see what happens. So if I change this to 21. All right, let's see. I don't think that did anything. <laughs> I think it's Roblox time. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, this is going to be so hard to do, but I guess let's wait an hour. One hour later. Okay, it has been exactly one hour later. 
well, a little bit over as you can plainly see. Okay, so I had the sound off, but I did see it at exactly 30 minutes. I wasn't recording that the lights started flickering. And if it made a noise, I have no idea because I had the sound on mute because I kind of just had it open. But anyway, I guess uh, let's just keep going until something happens. So it's at 12 or 13. Okay, two. I'm gonna keep you guys in suspense. I'm gonna count down every room. I'm pretty sure we're gonna die. I actually wanna know, like, are we gonna die? Is it just a guaranteed death? What was the entity's name again? I guess we'll find out really soon, huh? That's- well, imagine if I die before I get there. I'd be so mad. Waited an hour just to die. Okay, I'm just gonna lockpick it. I don't have time for that. Oh, I gotta- we gotta watch out for dupe, huh? Okay, four. All right, I use this. I didn't mean to. Well, nothing really attacks you beforehand, right? Yeah, see? The clock thing is totally new. So it doesn't work unless you get to the number 12 or 13 door? I can't remember which one it is. 10. I don't remember which door it is. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. 11. It keeps flickering. Okay, 12. Is it this one? <laughs> Hello? Oh, a dragon. Nice. Where's my scrub painting at? Okay. I think it's for sure 13 then. <gasps> oh! What? What is it? What is it? Oh, that's so cool. I have no idea what's happening though. Oh, no, my timer that I set. What was that? What? You died to dread. Reach third. I didn't even get to see him. Okay, I'm reviving. What happens if I revive? I love these like new animations too. What the heck? I feel like I need to react to that on another video. Did I get? Did I see that right? He just makes everything completely dark. Well, that is very random. Is my whole playthrough just cursed? Did he also knock down the shelf as well? That was pretty rude and very uncalled for. Oh, there's the game theory room. All right, yeah! dude, I forgot. I forgot he existed. I forgot Screech existed. <laughs> dude, I'm, I was worried about freaking Dread coming out or whatever his name is, and I freaking I totally forgot about Screech. Oh, uh, that was stupid. Yeah, I feel like okay. Let's learn more about Dread or whatever his name is. Okay, here we go. So Dread. So that's what he looks like. I, we sort of seen it. Oh, apparently, you can crucify him. Oh, that's- that would be cool, but I don't freaking have that. Okay, it says right here, Dread appears as a white and blue face possessed by many black holes. The holes on the top of its face appear to be eye sockets, and the holes on the bottom of its face be, uh, appear to be several mouths containing teeth, wispy black gray tentacles protruding from all sides of its face. That's disgusting. If Dread reaches a player, it will immobilize jump scare and then kill them. However, if Doors 14 is open via player or an entity, Dread will despawn immediately and will not appear for the rest of the run. Wait, oh, it's because I took one second to turn my stupid timer off that I died? Ah, uh, that's annoying. But wait, so literally you could have just went to the next room and then you would have survived it? Okay. If players pass door 14 before the in-game clock reaches midnight, Dread will not be able to spawn during that run. Okay, so it has to be that door. Players can keep track of the time during the run by uh, reading the grandfather clocks and the wall clocks. Okay, so, alright, interesting. Dread cannot kill players while they are hiding. However, it will wait in front of their hiding spot and it will kill them when they exit or if they're pushed in, uh, out by hide. Dread's behavior is similar to haste. Dread is client sighted. When it spawns, each player will see a different dread. Oh. So there's pretty much nothing you can do to run away from him other than go to the next room. I kind of want to I want to react to him and see him in a different light because I'm not waiting another hour. But I guess we kind of wanted to get jump scared by him, right? It was a good thing. All right, I just want to react to it since I didn't get a good chance to look at him very well. So you go into the room, and then it just plays this creepiness, and then what? So I'm guessing he'll just appear and just keep coming towards you and there's nothing you can do about it? I feel like I died way faster than this. Oh. Oh, okay, so I really didn't miss anything. You died to dread. You know what I want to know? Can you crucify- can you crucify the hole? The vacuum? Can you crucify that? <laughs> it's just like, that would look really weird. But yeah, that's the new entity. I just wanted to check it out. And uh, yeah, thanks for telling me about it, guys. Uh, let me know if there's any like doors myths that you want me to see. Like, I do want to know if you can crucify like the other entities in the back uh, doors. 
Uh, it's so freaking weird to say backdoors. I don't know why. But that's gonna be all for today. Check out last episode and here's Scrub of the Day. Today, Scrub of the Day goes to... Riker and Logan Show! 